Hello everyone, my name is Azza True and welcome to another Star Wars gaming video. In this video I'll be talking about the game coming from Visceral as we actually have some more teasers to what the game is from Star Wars Celebration. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, make sure you do so you'll never miss another Visceral Project video. In case you are unaware, Visceral are making an authentic Star Wars story game. Like Rogue One is a Star Wars story film, this game will be one in game form and it's going to be releasing in 2018, so it is quite a way off yet. We don't even have a name for it yet, but throughout this video, I'll be sharing with you concept art images, along with in-engine footage. So the news that I bring to you today is from Amy Hennig, the creative director on the game. The Uncharted series writer was on the EA Star Wars panel at Star Wars Celebration, where she talked about this project. Amy states that the process she has gone through to make this story was the same method she used for creating the Uncharted games, the first three specifically, and the start of four. Now, fans of that series will absolutely love this game because it is going to have similar DNA. The goal they want to achieve is to make the player feel like they have played a Star Wars film. Here is a quote about the tone of the game from Amy. It means getting the tone right. It is what my writing partner Todd calls breezy urgency. It's the idea that there's some sort of swashbuckling charm to the thing. There's humour and buoyancy, but at the same time there's stakes and jeopardy. It does seem that there's going to be a very Uncharted-like feel to this game, especially with the fact that there's going to be that sort of humour and it's something taken from Indiana Jones and Star Wars itself. If you'd like to listen to everything Amy had to say, there will be a link in the description below. As for the screenshots, we know it may be set on Tatooine because it is a desert planet and there's many things that do point to possibly Mos Eisley or a spaceport very similar. And as you can see, the Empire do have control of this area. Uh, there's, you know, various reasons for that. And it's definitely going to be set within the original trilogy era. We just don't know the exact time frame at the moment. I think seeing people climbing and using above the ground areas means there will be verticality to this game. It will be third person, but is it open world? We don't know just yet. I'm very excited to learn more about the new characters, the new weapons, the new technology, and the new locations that have never actually been shared in the Star Wars universe in this way ever before. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you do leave a like and if you missed any of the two previous videos on screen, be sure to check them out and I shall see you all in my next Star Wars Visceral Game video. Bye bye.